And typically when we're talking about hypocrisy and we're talking about the consequences of hypocrisy, we find that there are many verses in the Quran for us to challenge ourselves because sometimes we might see ourselves as the victim. We might see ourselves as the righteous party in a dispute. We might see ourselves as the truthful party where we might actually be the transgressing party. And so when we come across these verses about Bani Israel or we come across these verses about the Munafiqeen or we come across these verses about different groups of people that transgressed at some point, we have to challenge ourselves. But SubhanAllah, at the end of Surah Al-Ma'idah, when we get into this juz, the second to last verse is such a beautiful verse. It is a response that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala gives to Isa Alayhi salam, Jesus peace be upon him, when he is asked on the day of judgment, if he ascribed divinity to himself. And Isa Alayhi salam says, Subhanak, how perfect are you, O Allah? Of course, I did not do that. I only said what you commanded me to say. You know what's inside of me, Ya Allah. I don't know what's with you, but Ya Allah, you know my truthfulness. You know that I did what I was told to do. You know I only fulfilled the mission. And as followers of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we affirm not just that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Bellah, that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave his message, but all of the Prophets and the Messengers did their job. They gave their message. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala responds, Qala Allah, Allah said, this is a day in which the truthful will benefit from or profit from their truthfulness. That they have gardens beneath which rivers flow. Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that is the ultimate success. But I want to focus on that one sentence or the one phrase within this ayah. That this is the day that the truthful will profit from their truthfulness. Now I'm not going to ask you all to raise hands, but I can always tell from your head movement. Have you ever felt like you got the short end of a stick in a dispute because you had principles and the other party was not abiding by the same set of principles? You go into a business deal and you are bound by your ethics and you find out that the other person is cheating and you don't want to cheat as well. So you lost a lot of money. You got into a dispute with a friend and you said, you know what, I'm going to walk away because I'll just seek it from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I don't want this to be prolonged. You got into something and you did not descend to the way of the person that was hurting you. You didn't hurt them in the same way. You got into an argument. You didn't argue in the same way. You loaned someone money and they didn't pay you back or they, they said, I didn't owe you this much, I actually owed you this much. And you say, you know what, fine, whatever. Or an opportunity came, you know, we we're talking about ACC, mashallah. You had an opening and you said, you know what, my conscience is not allowing me to take this, this, um, take this option because I don't feel like my taqwa allows me to do that. And so you passed up and you said, you know, inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give me something better. A really sweet investment or a business deal. And it had a little bit of haram and he said, no. You know, because as the Salaf used to say, Tarakna nisf al-halal. We gave up half of halal out of fear of haram. SubhanAllah. We gave up half of what was halal because of our fear of what was haram. So you've, you might have been in that situation where you felt like your honesty cost you an opportunity in this life or it caused you harm in this life. And what do we usually comfort ourselves with? Whoever is mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will make a way out for them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide for them in ways that they had never anticipated before. And whoever puts their trust in Allah, Allah is sufficient for them. So usually we go to that verse to comfort ourselves, to remind us what? That Allah will provide another opening for us. But this verse is so comprehensive. It's such a comprehensive phrase that this is the day in which the truthful will benefit from their truthfulness. Every moment that you just let it go, you know what, I'll pass up on it. You know what, I'm not gonna descend to that. You know what, it's just a little bit of money. You know what, uh, Allah will provide me another opportunity. Every single time you passed up on that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was taking note of it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wrote it down. 
And usually when we talk about the Day of Judgment, we talk about la ظُلْمَ yawm. No injustice is tolerated on the Day of Judgment. And we remind ourselves to be mindful of being oppressors because oppression is darkness on the Day of Judgment. But this is actually a positive reinforcement from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You want to be sadiq, you want to be truthful? This is the day in which you're going to benefit from your truthfulness. Wait to see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala repays you on the Day of Judgment for the way you walked away. Wait to see how Allah repays you on the Day of Judgment for the opportunity you passed up on because of the forbidden and prohibited that was a part of it. Wait to see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala compensates you on the Day of Judgment for how you maintained your ethics in that dispute and you did not dissent. Wait to see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you a deal in replacement of the deal in this dunya. هذا يوم ينفع الصادقين صدقهم This is the day in which the truthful will benefit from their truthfulness. And so this is just to comfort the heart. So when Isa salam says, Ya Allah, you know. Ya Allah, you know. I, I mean, you know who I am and you know what I did. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts Isa salam at ease, but all of us at ease as well. That this is the day in which the truthful will be paid back for their truthfulness. Allahumma ja'alna min as-sadiqeen. Allahumma ja'alna min as-siddiqeen. Oh Allah, make us from the truthful. Make us from those who are truthful with our words, truthful with our hearts, truthful with our deeds. Make us amongst those that are truthful when they strive for Allah, that are truthful when they repent to Allah, that are truthful when they say that they are seeking the ultimate reward from Allah and join us with the most truthful of all of Allah's creation in the highest level of Jannah to Thirdaus, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma ameen. Jazakum Allah khayran. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.